because later on they go up all of them to bury their father Jacob and the people of the land of the Canaanites at that time recognized them as Egyptians. He said, look at this great company of Egyptians who have come up and how they are putting on a great mourning for someone that they're burying. Let me tell you that, that would, they would have said, look at the Canaanites and look at the Israelites. No, they didn't say that. They said, look at these Egyptians. So let's jump along. Joseph marries <coughs> Asinath. And she is a Egyptian priestess. And when he marries her, he has two children. He has Ephraim and Manasseh. Ephraim and Manasseh, because their mother was a black Hamite and their father, a Semitic man, would have been black. So that makes the tribe of Ephraim and Manasseh black. Moses is born in Egypt and hidden in Pharaoh's house for 40 years. Now, there's no way that he could have been hidden in Pharaoh's house for 40 years unless he could be passed off as an Egyptian. In other words, he was black. We know this is true because later on, he goes to Zipporah house, help them down in, in Zipporah's land in Median. And what he does is he gets their sheep to water and fights for them. As a result, Rule says, how come you guys have come home so early? They said, well, it's because this Egyptian man helped us. So what was it about him that was Egyptian? Number one, he was black. Number two, he was still probably wearing his Egyptian garments and style like an Egyptian too. So Moses was looking like an Egyptian because he was black. <laughs> Ruth, a Moabite, which makes her of the children of Lot and therefore Semitic, and probably they had married into the Hamatic lines as well, had um, was as Abraham's nephew, uh, Lot was a black man. So Ruth was a black woman. And Ruth married Boaz and had black children because Boaz was of the line of Judah. Rahab also was a Canaanite and Rahab joined the tribe of Judah and became a part of the lineage of King David. Rahab was a black woman, so she would have black children. David is described as of a ruddy complexion. The same or word that was used for Esau and of Adam is used for David. And David, therefore, was a red-skinned black man. Bathsheba, um, the word Sheba, from a black country, Bath Sheba or daughter of Sheba is what she was, makes her a black woman. And so Solomon, who is produced the product of David and Bath Sheba, was a black woman. Let's jump to Yeshua or Jesus, so called. His mother and father are told to take him down into Egypt, the land of the black faces, to hide from Herod. My question is do you hide a blonde haired, blue eyed man in the land of the black or burnt faces? The answer, of course, is no. What you do is you hide a needle in a haystack. So, as were the habit of the um, Israelite people to go down into Egypt whenever it, there was hard times, problematic times, or times when you needed to hide. That's what Elohim told Joseph and Mary to do. So they took baby Yeshua down there. And while they were there, you can just see Herod's soldiers going around, knocking from house to house with consent, of course. Um, where's that couple that came down from Israel recently? Has anyone seen them? They have a little baby. And well, well, Lots of babies. Lots of babies are here. Lots of people are having babies. No, we haven't seen any black couples that stand out or are different from us. So that is why Jesus, Yeshua, was hidden amongst the Hamites. Let me also say that incidentally, Jesus was definitely black. So if you were to go into the Eastern Orthodox Church and look through their ancient manuscripts, you will find a black mother and a black baby Yes, you would. You would find black Jesuses. You would find black apostles and black disciples. Why? Because as children of Israel, they were definitely black. The Hebrews are black for sure. Now, let's jump to a disciple that Jesus had. Yeshua had a disciple by the name of Simeon. And Simeon was also said to be Simeon, also called Niger. The word Niger is sometimes rendered nigger because he comes from the river 
Niger or in that region. So we're talking about that he was called Darkie. He was called Midnight as his pet name. Now, if a black man calls a black man a blackie, something is all right about that. But if someone of a different race calls it, it's racism. You understand? That's just how it goes. So my friend Simeon was also called Niger or was called Darkie or Midnight. That was his nickname amongst the apostles and disciples.